Uh, I'm trying to think if there was more corruption in any place that I can even think of. I wish it put a marker and told me why I couldn't go through certain walls. Is it really back in that area again? I feel like going this way is a bad idea. I can't think of any examples of other corruption that I couldn't get through. And yet I'm going this way anyway, I'm not quite sure why. I mean, all of these rooms look like they're totally sorted. The one on the top right is the boss room. Damn it, Nick, our taste in games is so similar that I keep having to wait to watch your videos so I don't spoil myself in the games I want to play. <laughs> this is no problem. I, uh, I'm glad that our tastes are similar. I've been up here already. This is where I was stuck, because this jump is too big. Maybe I can corrupt this junk now? No, it really doesn't seem that way. I can corrupt the dudes up on top, but I can't deal with uh, the steam itself. Fan, can I ask what this game is and how it works? Yeah, well, there's uh, there's a track command, actually, that was just dropped. It is a uh, Metroidvania. It's kind of like macabre sci-fi. It's a little bit of a confusing story, I have to say, but uh, it's a cool presentation. It's really interesting artistically. And uh, I've got this drill, and I've got this, like, hacking tool that I can use to, like, break through corruption in the world, and got a little ring of weapons that I can use as well. I don't know that I really want to go back through this room again. Let's go up higher. I don't think I'm going to get too much up here, but just in case I missed something. Now oh, this looks corrupted. I will take that, thank you very much. You love the story? Alright, well... Feel free to explain it a little bit, because it's hard to follow. Oh, there's a spot I can go to now. Shot my drone. I don't like the looks of this guy, though. Let's just get out of here. I don't know where I'm trying to go, but might as well take a look. Maybe I can turn off all the steam or something. Oh, I can use this to actually break through walls. This is nightmare. You're latching onto my drone? You freaking dick. I start out my drone with like no health, huh? What is the point of that? I can't fight anything with this thing, really. It's not like I have other weapons. I gotta be more creative. How do you like that? Now, for the actual thing that got me last time, it got me again. It recharges slowly every time it returns to you. Oh, okay. I guess I will take a sip of my uh, drink then while we wait. made it so far, too. Alright, with full health, I think I should be able to accomplish what I could not before. Although I really do think that these uh, parasite creatures are way overpowered. You really shouldn't be able to drain, like, three quarters of your health instantly. Oh my god. Let's turn into a blood orgy again. And he's dead.
Are you gonna upload any more Super Meat Boy content, like a playthrough? Because I would love to watch that. I've got multiple Super Meat Boy playthroughs actually on my YouTube channel. But, I never get bored of playing that game, so, you know, never rule it out. Are you feeling, still feeling sick? No, I feel mostly okay right now. Thank you for asking. Though. I just had alternating, like, stomach pain and headaches non-stop for the last month. And tonight, I don't really have much. I had a headache earlier today, and then I had a bubble tea and I felt better. I just want to, like, hop right over this sucker and not get involved with him. Just stay away, stay away! Oh, this doesn't seem to be bothered by steam, huh? Kill it! This is so freaking dumb. It latches onto me. Oh, there's more than one? Is there a secret way around then? Or maybe I can get... Come on. Oh, too early. Wait. I don't really understand why the parasites are so strong. And why they're so hard to dodge, too. Like, there's not really an obvious strategy that I'm picking up on here. I can't shoot through walls, so, like, I can't really cheese it very easily. I guess I can kill this like this, which is also super cheesing it. Do the same strategy, I guess. Ah, come on. Now, since I'm limited to this range... That's just ridiculous. Oh, it does hurt him. I thought the steam didn't bother it, but I guess it just has a safer hitbox or something. Okay, just get away. Okay, we made it through this room of hell. Thanks for that. Run away. Oh, there's more. Crap, this is a gauntlet! Where are we going? There's a door, where was that door gonna go? I couldn't have reached it anyway. Is this actually what I'm meant to do? Because it seems ridiculous. Where is this going to hook back to, then? Um, it looks like I was probably pretty close. It was looping back to the corridor, so I guess probably we're nearly there. If I were to guess, none of these things would stay dead once I killed them. I think that is one of the harder drone puzzles. Alright. Well, I take it there's a reason for me to do it. Especially if I'm trying 100%, I probably want to do all these. I'll get it. No worries. Come on. That's not what I meant to do, actually. Okay, you stay trapped in there. Uh, I'm gonna go in that pit and hope it jumps over my head. Nope. And all my health's gone again. Yeah! Wish me luck, boys. I figured this is, like, as hard as it would get, right? Like, this has got to be the last room, and, you know, there's, like... Many more. 
I tried. Seems silly that this seems to be the only effective way to kill them. Because you do seem to need to kill them, so I'm like, I'm kind of abusing the AI by getting them fall into those pits. And then jumping up and down. Alright. So there's that. Uh, maybe I'll just, I'll let it come up here, right? And then do the exact same trick. That avoids quite a bit of chaos as a... I wonder if there's just, like, a secret wall there. Let's me skip a bunch of shit. I've never gotten past this successfully this far here. It takes so long, but I have way more health this time. That's good. That one seems way easier to cheese away. As long as I don't get totally murdered on the spider room, I might be able to get through this. Okay, it's as far away as it's gonna get. Oh, I got its attention. Just run. Okay, I'm still okay. Ish. That's better. at this room, though. There's a door there. I must have to go to the right. Oh, there's like... Is that a power-up? Okay, let's try this door. Maybe this is where I need to go. Oh, God! Seriously? The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy sleeping dog. They added a word there. What, pray tell, is a fox? English thought long ago succumbed to evolution's merciless... Twisting Lever seems to be with us once again. Queen Elizabeth I has bestowed upon us a new dream. Come into my arms. We have much to learn. Yeah, that was worth it. Absolutely. I thought this purple thing right here was what I was after for a second, but uh, I don't think so now. I think that was just a decoration. Lore power up. Ahoy. Okay, this is really bad. Can you jump over this? Please tell me you can jump over this. No, you can't? Okay, well then I guess I'll just kill you. Oh, it gave me health! I didn't know that was even an option. Okay, now I've got an idea. I have an idea, boys. That's why this has a spot above the door. This is so you can kill these. I think each room has a strategy, guys. Yes! He's learning! Thank you so much, The Desert on Fire, for uh, hosting. Much appreciated. Uh, we're not gonna outrun this sucker, so let's just go the other way. Oh, there's two. There's two. Of course there's two. Go through the door, please. That's it! This is the end! What did we get? Bifurcating energy bolts. Vrange. Alright, I guess that was our goal. So off we go. Bifurcating energy bolts. Oh, that's badass. Okay, that's the coolest gun, so maybe that was actually worth doing. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Is that a split split? I don't actually think I need the split split anymore. I found a different way around. Hmm. Is there any other reason for me to go back to this room? 
Probably not. I wonder if I'll get the ability to be resistant to uh, that pink stuff eventually. I keep hoping there's some other thing I can do here. Oh! Wait. That's where I got the ability, isn't it? That's how I got out. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Yeah, I can't get up any higher, so... Nope. I want to see what this looks like once I can uh, shoot it across this room. What's that freaking pink orb? I activated that to turn on all that machinery. That is such a freaking cool item. Can you not make me have to fall into the water before I do that? Okay, good enough. I'm just enjoying shooting this gun now. So, we've done that. Uh, the next place that I guess I would go is back outside, maybe? I'm not really sure where I would go outside, but maybe there's still a place for me out there. I just felt overwhelmed by options at the time. Especially since I got the level 2. Wow, this thing is not very strong, actually. I'm a little bit sad about that. It looks cool, and it spreads really cool, but it doesn't hit very hard. It has the best range of anything I've got, though, so... I guess if I have to compromise one versus the other, and shoot something far away... Wow, that took a lot of shots. This is gonna be my option for that. Maybe it can kill the, uh, those dickhead, uh, drill... armadillos. Drilladillos. Drilladillos? It seems like, still, the only gun worth even using is the Kilver. It's the only one that actually hits hard enough to matter. Which is silly. Okay, there's gotta be something I'm, like, absolutely missing here. Let's put on our thinking hats again. Yeah, the best, well, the longest range is probably the first default gun, right? The Axiom Disruptor, but it doesn't hit very good, or very hard, and also, uh, you know, single fire point, so... If you're trying to kill a bunch of things at once, or really hit stuff, for the most part, not the best idea. Alright. Was in here again? All oh, right. Why is that egg back? Oh, it's just empty now. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've already done all that. gun that counts. No other reasons to go through there. The next step up, maybe? What was through the furthest right? I think you should definitely play games like this more often, or like this every now and then. Very fun to watch. Glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. I'm having fun playing it, actually. I, I Sometimes I get stuck, but like that's just how these games go. I fully understand that. I'm prepared for this, and we will overcome, ultimately. Okay, there's... Oh, there was a point here that I could drill through. And then we can launch our, uh, our friend into this. See what we can find. On a little expedition together. What did I get? 
Health node fragment. Oh, we finally got it, so we got a health up. It's actually a pretty big health up, too. Worth it. What is the bug's name? I don't think it has a name. Uh, also, maybe a dumb question, but what's up with this? The map still keeps going. Oh, you know what? I must be able to drill through the top block, so when I get a double jump, I can come back to this and keep going to the right. For now, though, it's too high for me, so I can't deal with it. Alright, can I... I just want to see the evidence, if possible. No, I think it's just even too high to drill on. Uh, I guess that's it for that. I don't think there's... This is just a place where I picked up an item, right? I'm just checking it now because I don't remember. These look like spots that I can teleport through. Oh, I can get through that, but to no effect, really. get through this, too. This would be interesting to put a secret behind, actually. Because I bet few people would bother to look over here. Ah, that sucks. I'm kind of committed to the idea of how weird this game has gotten. Like, I kind of would like it if they had Fez-level difficulty puzzles or, like, really, really hard to find unorthodox stuff that most people would never run into ever. I mean, if people 100% the game, I'm sure you can do it, but... Uh, I do like games that feel like a Herculean event to overcome eventually. Why did I think I had double jump for a second? Oh, thanks, Alray! Thanks for coming by. Fez level difficulty. I mean, the puzzles in Fez were incredibly obscure. It took, like, an entire community months to figure out how to solve some of them. Alright, so we're clearly going back upstairs again. It's the only option. Uh, oh, I was waiting for that to drop, but it didn't. Hello. Oh, you lure me in with the other one, and then you drop it on my head. Oh, there's corruption right here that I never uncovered. Why did I not do that? Oh. Okay. What are you? Are you bad, or are you neutral? You seem to be neutral. Okay, I can deal with that. This is cool. Let's corrupt this pinwheel. I knocked its wheel off its pin, apparently. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm dead. I have no idea where the last time I saved was. Oh, it was probably at the bottom of the, yeah, singing lady shaft. Good old singing lady shaft. So dependable. I seem to spend the most amount of time in this area, mostly just because I seem to have a very hard time grasping where I'm supposed to go sometimes. Oh, come on. Okay, after the 700th time I've killed all those laser turrets, I think I get the idea. Okay, let's try that again. This time, maybe we'll try using the branch. Because it's got sweet freaking range! Oh my god, these things take a lot of damage, actually. And they deal a ton of damage, too! My god! Alright. I didn't really want to say it, but... Look in the background, about top left corner. That just looks like a hairy dong, right? Sorry if you can't unsee that. Also, what is this thing on the ground right here? Oh wow, that parallaxing is really weird. The mountains shift down! I don't think that's how that works. 
What is happening? Okay, I can't really seem to decrypt that. So that must be level 3 uh, decryption. Freaking tiny little fly avoided every single attack I did. What? Are you really gonna tell me this is not the way I'm supposed to go? Okay, there's gotta be something to drill. Right? You can't just leave me hanging over here. That is what's happening. You're gonna make me very upset, game. They're ganking me. They're yoinking my doink. There's nothing to see or do here. Touch it. Oh, you mean the dong in the background. What is that a picture of? It looks like a burned out building or something. Okay, that hurts me. Oh, I should have known that already. There's no one tile high anything to send my drone through. Yeah, I guess I just have to leave. I wonder if shooting those various things with this laser, uh, the decryptor, now that it's level 2, like, does better effects on them? Is there any reason for me to shoot my dude up here? And drill me through anything here? I don't think so. Did you cast a game of Dota with Rob yet? No, I have not done that. That doesn't hurt them either. Oh, wow, I didn't even freaking see that up there. Oh, I can decrypt this! Oh my god. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Rachel. That was quite a room. Oh, is this the new enemy du jour? We've got soup shrimp everywhere. Freaking soup shrimp? All the enemies, we picked soup shrimp. We had enough of soup shrimp just earlier. What is this all about over here? Gotta jump in the water, of course, for that. Oh, it's a nightmare zone from hell. Okay. Uh, shit. I don't want to do this right now. I'm gonna die. But this is where I have to go. Well, one of the two places I can go. Soup trim, hook me up with some health, bro. You're not my bro anymore. Also, wait a damn second. You're forcing me to jump into the water for this jump. I don't think I can even reach it. Okay, so that's not possible. Please say Rachel like that again. You gotta earn it. Do you want me to shoot my dude up there? Is that... I don't know what's going on, man. Alright. Always plenty of time to go up the laser shaft a few more times. Just skip by as much of it as we can. Maybe it's just because I've been playing things like with sort of poor understanding of the routing of this game, but it does feel like we've been spending an inordinate amount of time in this one particular area. It could just be also because this has, like, the most distinctive element of the soundtrack so far in the whole game, and it just keeps happening over and over again.
I don't really want to fight you, actually. Could we not? Come back this way. Oh, come on. Why can't I just hit you like a normal enemy? Four? Wow. Very dedicated to your cause, Antlion. I appreciate you. How do I earn Rachel? It's... Greatness is earned. It's just true. Oh, I got hit. Two Krim! I guess I'll just go into the freaking warp zone. I don't really know another way to do it. It seems like the warp zones are not particularly hidden. Uh, also, did I try even doing that at all? I don't think I did. Oh god, I like... Oh, I can glitch the water? Oh god, Soup Shrimp is coming out of the water after me now. Go somewhere else, please. Is it turning into solid ground? Alright, I don't know what I just did there, but it seems to have worked. <laughs> oh, it hurts the other lasers? That's pretty sweet. Alright. I don't think I could do that to them before, but now that I have a higher level thing, it's actually better. Can I even kill these anymore? I guess they're invincible now. Alright. You told me to earn it twice, but not how. Oh look, it's Arakune! Mr. Squiggles! What happened to you, man? Did the Azure get the better of you? What is up with you? Arakune, your mask is all rusted over. I understand the uh, the grimoire is is a lot of knowledge to take in all at once. It used to be such a prominent sign. He's oh Arakune, you're following me. Um, I do want to go back for that nightmare zone, by the way. I just don't know when the right time is to do it. All right, now's the right time to do it because I just found. A save point. Alright, I give up. I'm gonna eat Cheerios. Fair enough. I want to keep going up, but I also just want to go back and check out the weird world. Can I, like, overdrive them with too much corruption? I can turn them green, like, turn them into level 5 corrupted. Where their, uh, their balls just explode. Or something, I don't know. Okay, I'm glad that dropped some health. I feel like, in a way, Soup Crimp is actually getting set free when I let them out of their prison with the corruption. Now they can fly! Sucrim couldn't fly before. Oh my god, now you've made me fall? Okay, nobody's got any HP, huh? That's really rude. Go through the door immediately, we've got freaking gas in my face. Seems like the hitbox gets distorted as well when I shoot those. I wonder if there's any reason to drill all the walls out here. Okay, cool. 
that helps. It's so much like super win the game when you go in these, it's weird. They aren't evolved to fly, it's a horribly painful death for a dying aberration, don't play Tom. Now, the next question is, can I corrupt things in a corrupted world? Oh, that's a cool effect, do you see that? Look at the background when I do that. That's pretty. Why don't you use a longer range weapon versus the fart monsters? Uh, because you can't shoot them until you uh, corrupt them. And by the time you've corrupted them, it doesn't matter anymore. You can only use the drill on them. Which is frustrating, to say the least. Okay, turn that into a weird thing. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't even know where, like, the floor is half the time. I can't really see. Oh, Arakune followed me. Hi. Oh, great. Okay, I thought I thought I was in safe range there. Turns out not. <clears throat> I haven't fought a boss in a really long time, have I? The last one was the third one. Kind of makes me want to keep going up. Because there's a boss right in front of me. Okay, why don't we go see what we get from the boss, and then we'll go back for the secret world afterward. All right, we're way zoomed out again. It's another... it's a scorpion. Surprise, surprise, it's another giant armed monster. Who is it? Are you demon? No, just a normal guy. Trust me, I don't even want to be here. He carries weapons, but looks like... unsure. I only carry this gun to defend myself. If you just let me be, I won't use it. Cannot trust self. Cannot trust Atheos. Atheos. But to be safe, it must die. Oh, oh, right. Okay. I'm not, not using a good weapon for this right now. Uh, why well, don't we try the hypo out of this one? That doesn't seem to do any damage, huh? How about we try a normal weapon? Doesn't seem to do any damage, huh? Where am I meant to shoot at, then? Uh, it must have just been, like, its eye opens or something. What is the goal here? High frames, help me out here, bro. I thought maybe I could walk behind it. Use tree shotgun. <laughs> I hit it like once, and then it, I think it closed its eye or something? I gotta see what happened again there. It all happened very quickly. Oh, Axiom Verge is still going. Ah, it's only been like four hours, none of that long. Okay, let's try something with a bit more gusto. This actually seems to be useful against this boss. I'm not really sure what it's hitting that's causing it to be hurt, but it is, so cool. Maybe it's hitting it, like, underneath its body or something? Now I need to just dodge a little bit better. This is probably my reward for going out of my way to do a really hard thing that I didn't really have to do. It made this boss substantially easier. It's very red. I'm dodging, like, absolute crap. If only I had a double jump. I, I honestly don't know what I'm hitting. Yep, it is like 2 a.m., Joseph. Maybe it's Scorpion Man from Dark Souls 2, and you're not supposed to kill him. Well, he's gonna kill me, so I think I don't have a lot of options there. I think Tree Shotgun has some very specific uses, and I think this is one of them. It looks like the belly is what you're hitting. Okay. 
Then why when I shot the first time did it hurt it? Okay, I hit its little, like, mouth tendrils once. That was good. Hey, it just keeps opening its eye, I guess. I don't know why I'm dodging in such garbage. I really just need to concentrate a little bit on this. Just look at it more like a freaking runner game and I should be fine. I think it's because I have to keep balancing my distance from it, and then I keep forgetting to jump. Oops. Okay. I feel like I'm very capable of not taking any damage on this boss, and yet... Okay, maybe I can't dodge that part very well. You want to get in my freaking face, though. Oh my god. That's a pretty sweet weapon you've got there. Could have used that earlier. Might have been better off. It's weird that I don't know what I'm shooting at. Oh my god. You're hitting him in the head when his eye opens. But what causes his eye to open? Just random? Alright, let's try and do this a lot better this time and hopefully, like, hardly take any damage. I will feel more comfortable with that. Tree shotgun is cool, but man, it sucks for damage, I have to say. Okay, let's give it our all. You can just duck under those. No problem. And it won't... Okay, until it ducks, it won't hit us on the ground. What? Why did I take damage there? It must not have actually ducked. Jump too high. I shouldn't have jumped at all. Uh, not sure why I took damage on that one. Oh, we're getting a host! Unsanity Live is hosting me for 119 viewers. Thank you so much! That's very kind of you. I appreciate it a whole bunch. For anybody that's just arriving, we are playing Axiom Verge. It is a sci-fi, macabre, kind of horror-inspired... Maybe like H.R. Geiger even inspired Metroidvania action platformer. I'm about four hours into it right now, and I'm having a blast with the game. It's a very strange game, I have to say. I haven't really played a lot of Metroidvanias like it before, and I have played a lot of Metroidvanias. And as you can see, we're fighting a giant scorpion with a flamethrower for a tail. That I seem to be having more trouble with than I'm not really sure why I'm having too much trouble with it, actually. It shouldn't be that hard. In concept, it seems pretty obvious what I need to do from moment to moment. I guess in execution, not so obvious. It's very, very red. It looks like I've boiled it. Open your freaking eye, buddy! Got a dose of laser carnage and shotgun tree for you. This game does look banging, son. I agree 100,000%. That's more than possible. Why do I have to fight it for this long before it opens its freaking eye? Oh my god, I thought that killed me and it didn't. Just open your eye, man! We're freaking wasting 100 hours not doing any damage to you. I get it, you're in full-on panic mode, just let's finish this up. Oh, damn it. I'm pissed. That was dumb. There's no way that I should have died there. Hey, Unsanity, thank you so much for the host, man. Or lady, I guess I don't know. But, thank you. I'm starting to have second thoughts about whether or not I should be using this weapon. Uh, we'll try again. Also, thank you so much to McGrew for the $6 donation. 
Uh, Nick, you helped me through some hard times. I wanted to thank you for that. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I'm uh, glad that I've been able to help you in whatever way I have. It was very kind of you to donate. And uh, we could all raise a few rock donkeys in chat, please. Oh, okay. That one was actually not fully on the tile. I thought it was that it's either a binary state of it being against the ground or one tile up from the ground. It is possible for it to be halfway between the two. So as it turns out, I'm not always safe if it is transitioning from ducking to standing. Was I right about hitting it from underneath? I thought the eye was closed half the time when I was doing damage to it. But I don't know. Yep, see that time it was. I should have gotten some free shots in when it jumped. I thought this gun was supposed to be a reward, man! It's not making life any easier! I know what. What if I was supposed to use the Hypo Atomizer because there's not a lot of other reasons? Yeah, that's what this is for. This gun is specifically used for this boss, that's what it is. Okay. Good freaking night, buddy. Even still, it's still fighting. Come on. Thank you. I don't know how good I feel about how that boss went, because there was not hardly any skill. It was just pick the right gun and you win. The other, like, the last one with the lasers actually required a bit of creativity. This one was kind of just like, there's one answer, put the freaking square peg in the square hole. That one almost seemed reluctant to fight Else Nova. what's going on? Athito's soldiers were originally normal humans. He used his pathogen to transform. There's a lot of buzzwords here that we haven't been fully informed on what the meaning of them is. But sometimes they remember a small part of who they once were. So I've been killing innocent people. No, they were those most loyal to him. They helped him spread pathogen. Okay. Okay, maybe they're not innocent, but still they're people. Is there some way I could get by with not killing them? No, at least I do not think so. But Trace, if you had been here, you would not want them to live either. Whatever. Freaking ladies manipulating me for her own ends. There's a door up there, I just realized. Look all the way up there. Alright, so we're gonna get some kind of ability to fly, I guess. Oh. Uh, Trace, this was Katrahaska? She was an ally of Athitos. She tried to kill us, but we stopped her. So she's dead. All of you look rather immobile, you know. How did you even fight? Drones. It was all we had after everyone died. But then Athitos disabled even those. Thought so. Wait. What? There's something going on over here, right? Hang on. I feel like I can climb into this thing's head. Got a little overly, overly excited there that it kind of let my character slip away. Wait, there is a hole in this wall. Is wait, is there a hole in this wall? Maybe not. Hey, Doozer, it's going just fine. Thanks for asking. I can't tell if that's solid or if that's just not there for some reason. Oh yeah, I think there's a collision on the edge of it. You can see a spark when I shoot up against it. Alright, I figured that would be a strange place to put a secret. Oh, come on, where's my reward, man? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Thank you for the health. I uh, should be... A oh, okay, I thought that other side of that wall was empty. It was not... Where actually am I going? I usually 
usually get a reward when I do things. Oh, is this it? Nope, that is a switch. And... The drones! The drones are free! So what now? It would be good to make sure Ophelia is repaired. She has... has way to bypass pathogen. Also, you wanted to ask her about Breach. That's the key to this whole thing, right? Athetos is using the Breach to trap you here while slowly killing you off. Yes, so ultimate goal is stopping Athetos with secondary goal finding Ophelia. Uh, but you'll need to look for ways of reaching them. That makes sense. Let's see what I can find up ahead. I thought those things were gonna kill me. Apparently they're friendly. Uh, they'll probably try and kill me later. Oh, a moth! You're kinda cute. Do I have to kill the cute moth? It's gray. Can I... Can it be a friend? Oh. Sorry, cute moth. You've gotta die. I'm not happy about it either, buddy. It's just the, the way life is these days. These are cute too. They're like little hedgehogs. Or like little parasitic hedgehogs. Oh god, there's five of them or six of them. That's scary. Do you watch NL's Fallout stream? I've only caught the beginning of it uh, once. I didn't really watch much of it. I'd like to sit and watch more of it at some point, though. I just haven't had time. Last Grey Moth. It did seem to be the last one, didn't it? Alright, before we get too deep down this rabbit hole, I kind of want to go back and look to the left. Because I'm hoping maybe there was something over there worth going to. Also, I was expecting to go back into the glitch zone. Uh, but I never got a reward yet, so I didn't go back. And yes, I did see that the map didn't end there, so I guess I want to investigate that too. Yeah, I hear you. Bye. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, this is, this is what drops me down to the top of the boss room. Well, I can teleport through this wall. Alright, that looks like a health up. I might have to take a dive, uh, unless there's secret platforms on... Okay, we're, we're in the water, so let's just embrace it. Is this what I get? I get a health increase for beating that boss? Not a, an item. Where am I now? I'm in some part of the outside, aren't I? Where on freaking earth am I going? Oh. Okay. This is a weird path. Pathogen. Pathogen. Is that really the path I needed to take? I'm just gonna kill all the blocks that are available for breaking and see where that puts us afterward. It's not even even. How odd. Oh. Wait a minute, where am I? Oh, this is the back part of where I sent the drone through. Does that mean there's a way I can get down there? There's like no reason though to do that. Is there? I thought I already did what I needed to do in this area, so now I'm a bit confused why I'm back in it. Or why it's even accessible. There must be a reason. I wasn't able to bring my whole body through before. Let's see. Oh, it's this area. Does this stay turned off? I bet it doesn't. Okay, it did. There must be a reason for me to be able to be over here. 
let's figure it out. Could it be as simple as that it's just a shortcut? Because I guess once I have double jump, this won't be a thing anymore. Oh, did I just make my life a lot worse by going over here and now I can't get back? Crap. Uh, what about... That's not what I meant to do. Can I drill through the ceiling? No, I'm not going to be able to get all three tiles up. Maybe I could just shoot the droid up at it? Oh no, it has to hit the ground before it can shoot its destroyer beam. Alright, this is not where I want it to be. I mean, I'm sure you can tell. I bet I can angle that. I bet I can angle that so I can get the thing up on the platform somehow. I think I need to do it from over here, but then again, I think I tried this last time. I don't think it went far enough. Oh, that's so close! If these boulders didn't happen so frequently, that would be quite helpful as well. Oh, come on! I was right on it! Well, blue projectiles from corrupt enemies damage enemies. Yeah, I'm getting that impression as well, actually. Okay, now they're just constantly rolling. Yes! Oh no, I'm... Alright, now I know it's possible. Sequence break, boys! Yeah! Refill my health, too. Alright, that's cool. I wonder if there's any other reason to do that. Uh, to get over here, I mean. I don't think so. I could get myself up there, maybe shooting my droid around would help, but I don't think there's any other thing I can do. I'm assuming that's not the way you're meant to get that. If I'm wrong, then you know, so be it, but just assuming. Now I've got to get out of here, and it's annoying to leave. I guess on the way back around, I'll go ahead and hit the glitch zone again. Oh, there's drones? What? They're helping me. Oh, this is unexpected. 